our hope. She was family's chance at justice and at hope and at faith in the community and in the justice system. And we all failed her. And that is what is so significant about Tina. She was just a baby. We all failed her. We all failed her. Anger turned into action. Hundreds marching today to honor Tina Fontaine, the 15-year-old Indigenous girl whose body was pulled from the Red River in 2014. The man accused of her murder, Raymond Cormier, was found not guilty yesterday by a jury. Those marching today say they want more protection for Indigenous women and girls like Fontaine. At night, I keep thinking about our children, our grandchildren, that are not safe out there. I think of our children that we've lost to the systems, to the prison systems, to CFS, and even to the health systems. They've all failed us as a people. They're all set for us to fail. It's all part of the genocide process. And uh, we all have to learn to rise up. We all have to have that spiritual awakening so this will stop happening to us. Going back to our sacred fires, going back to our ceremonies, our languages. Uh, that's how, that system, that's the system that was made for us that we need to follow so that we can be strong again. Thelma Fable, who helped raise Fontaine, broke down in tears. Everything I tried to do failed for her. And what we all discussed last night, my son and my husband, we did what we could to bring justice for my baby girl. The chief of Sakeen, where Fontaine was from, pointed to the lack of resources for First Nations communities. We want justice! Justice! We still have communities that don't even have running water. This is 2018. Canada, you got to wake up. You talk about reconciliation, now is the time to do it. Talk is cheap. <laughs> It's not like children, young people grow up wanting to be involved in the justice system or wanting to have bad health or bad educational outcomes. They want the best for themselves and we need to be able to give them the opportunity to do that. While many call for system overhauls, the family and friends of Tina Fontaine are still reeling from her death. They await justice and answers to the question, what happened to the 15-year-old girl? In Winnipeg, Stephanie Lasuk, City News.